Hey, it's Tony Talking Car Biz. Let's uh, dive inside and take a look today at the interior on this brand new 2022 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport Double Cab 4x4. Boy, that's a mouthful. Okay, let's get started on the inside here on the driver's side. We'll take a quick look at the driver's door. So, a uh, pretty interesting door uh, fabrics that they use on here. This is actually a, like a rubber coated door panel. And it is awesome because when you go to jump in, if your hands are wet, it won't slip and slide like it would on cloth or plastic. So, real nice attention to detail. They have that on all four doors up front and the back. Chrome door handle here. One touch up and down on all four windows. Power door locks, power mirrors bottle holders and speakers in the doors as well now this is the standard TRD sport so you get all of these features without paying extra when you go with the sport traction control on and off right here uh, cargo light on and off we do have automatic headlights so you can have them go auto high beam on and off here's your 120 volt on and off switch for the bed and then we have the clutch uh, start cancel so this is where you can go ahead and not use the clutch to start the vehicle if you need to do that threshold here has to Tacoma and Boston it hopefully you can see that on the camera and then the TRD Sport does give you the power driver seat forward backwards power recliner and power lumbar support the passenger seat on that side still going to be manual cloth seats really a nice durable cloth seats light gray with the dark gray um, outsides with that uh, light gray contrast stitching airbags built right into the seats right here Height adjustable headrest and height adjustable seat belts standard on the front driver front passenger seat. We do have a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Across the front of the vehicle there's four of these vents. They're omnidirectional. You turn them however you want and you can also shut them off just like that. And then they use that charcoal gray finish that we saw in the exterior video. If you didn't catch that video look for a link up in the corner here and you'll be able to watch the exterior video. Let's go ahead and grab a seat. So behind the seat of the Tacoma, I pretty much got my camera up against my nose. I just wanna show you just how much room there is up front in the Tacoma from the driver's perspective. The Sport does not come with a sunroof, so that does give you much better headroom. Uh, but I also wanna show you the leg room here from the driver's side. So I've got the seat all the way back, I'm 5'7". I think six footer should be just fine behind the wheel of here. Although I don't know how comfortable your passengers are going to be directly behind you. Uh, first thing I want to do on this video is I want to start it up because I need to get the air conditioning going. But you've got your tack and your temperature gauge here. There's an information center here, speedometer, and your fuel gauge is there. But before I start it up, I need to move the seat ahead because I can't reach the pedals. Now the TRD Sport does not come standard with the um, smart keyless entry system. So you have the old school key with the keyless remote and the panic button. And then of course this is a six speed so I'm gonna wanna make sure I hold that clutch in. And the thing about having a clutch is you definitely need to move the seat just a little bit further forward because you wanna push that clutch in to start it. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do here. And then you can see how it looks when I start it up. So we get her started, we get a little AC going here, and of course Toyota's classic beepy, beeping at everything. Information center is here, which has a variety of information, and that all can be controlled, I'm sorry, over here. So on this side of the steering wheel is where we're gonna be able to toggle through some of those settings for the information center. Of course, you got a fuel computer, you've got your safety settings in there as well. So on this particular one, it also has your tire pressure monitoring, which is super helpful, especially if you're doing that uh, all wheel, your off-road driving, and you do let air out of your tires, you can always bring it back up and get it to where it needs to be. Also has outside temperature. The steering wheel's leather wrapped on here. It's quite thick, um, very comfortable. Radio control, sound system controls, Bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone is here. And then these are the controls for the information center up there. Uh, we also have our, our dynamic radar cruise control settings there, lane departure on and off right there as well. And then old style cruise control still down here on the Tacoma. Most Toyotas have moved it up onto the steering wheel right here, um, but on the Tacoma it's still down here. Also on the Forerunner it's still there. Wiper controls for your front washer wipers are over here. Headlight controls are over here. 
Uh, we have the auto on and off for high beams, also on and off for the headlights, and then your fog light controls are right here as well. So everything's pretty easy to reach without actually taking your hands too far off the steering wheel. Take a look at our center stack. So this, this is your standard sound system on here. It's a six speaker sound system. I think it's pretty good for the average person. Uh, you do have a trip computer here as well for fuel economy. As far as your audio settings, AM, FM, Sears Satellite Radio, you get three months of the Platinum subscription. You do have Bluetooth connectivity and you can connect your smartphone, uh, your iPhone to this, but it's not wireless. Um, so you got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Alexa compatible. Automatic temperature control down here. And there are two separate temperature controls, front driver and front passenger. Front window defrost is here. Four ways are right here. Four wheel drive selector is here. Rear, or uh, I'm sorry, heated outside mirrors control is right here. In most of them, the mirrors and the rear window defrost are in one switch, but this doesn't have rear window defrost on the back window. This is your power rear window switch to open and close it. So that's going to be this window back here. Close it up like so. It's nice to have that power switch, especially when you open up all these other windows, you get real nice airflow if you're doing some off-road driving, but driving slow. USB connectivity. We do have the wireless charging on the TRD Sport. So you turn that on and then you can drop your phone down here and you don't have to plug it in if you have a wireless phone. And then the 12 volt outlet here. Nice size glove box over here with all the owner's manuals, of course. And it is locking, so you've got a little bit of security there. And then I mentioned earlier on the doors that rubber surface, it's also up here on the dashboard and of course over here as well. So really nice to have that slip resistant material. I also mentioned this is your six speed uh, manual transmission. So when you get the six speed manual, then the brake parking brake comes here, which can come in really handy for off-road driving. Two cup holders here, a place to drop your smartphone here. Small, smaller armrest here, um, but it's pretty deep. So just open it up, but look at how far in it goes. And then there are two USB charging ports down here, a USB-C and a standard U USB 1.0 down there as well. So lots of different places to plug in, especially with the wireless charging. Also, there's a passenger sys grip there. You've got side curtain airbags. We've got uh, vanity lights on both sides and mirror of the mirrors and the visors come out and then they also slide like so. So they don't extend, but they do slide. Overhead, we've got uh, lights, safety connect right here. If you get stuck out on the road, Toyota push that toy to get your roadside assistance. They do not provide assistance if, if you got stuck off-roading. Sunglasses will go right here. And then we do have an automatic dimming mirror and we also have a compass in, built right into the mirror. So the TRD Sport comes with a nice base package of amenities and uh, comfort convenience features. I love the wireless charging. I love the automatic temperature control. That's awesome. Let's uh, go ahead and jump in the back seat and check it out. So jumping into the back seat, same rubber coating we saw up on the front doors, chrome door handle, power door wind or window switch, bottle holders and a speaker down here in the door as well. The, the the Tacoma uh, back seats do fold down 40% on this side, 60% over on that side. I do like the hard surface on the back of here so you're not damaging your seats. Behind here, there's a storage cubby down in this area right here. There's a child safety seat anchors and then there's a play place here to hang your grocery bags. So if you don't have people in the back seat all the time, but you have you know, maybe a briefcase or a computer case or you're doing grocery shopping, just leave that seat down throw your groceries in, away you go. There's also these little clips here on the uh, panel so you can clip in your seat belts so you don't have to hear them rattling around while you're driving down the road. Just a nice little tip. There's also um, coat hooks here. There's passenger assist handles on the sides, makes it easy to get in and out. These seats do come up like so. And then down underneath here, there is some storage. This does not lock, but it does give you some hidden storage there and that runs all the way through to the other side on the other side is your jack and your tool kit in case you get a flat tire and then this just folds down like that there's a pocket on the back of the passenger seat 
there's those cleats I mentioned uh, in the previous video, the exterior video, that's your tie down cleats. You've got cup holders here, but there's no place to plug anything in. So that's your cup holders. And then there's no folding armrest. There are three seat belts back here and the headrests do adjust up and down on all three of them. Notice I had to pull this one out in order to fold the seat down. I don't like that about the back seats on the Tacoma. And then when the seats are all the way back, there really is limited uh, leg room, especially if you're behind the driver and the driver has, a, has to put the seat all the way back. Uh, good luck with that. But um, they are pretty comfortable if you have enough leg room. <laughs>